You can't be no more African than that. I'm telling you. That is Africa. Now this stuff y'all doing. You hyper, the kids hyper. <laughs> you know. I mean, you know, you, you, I don't want to talk about y'all cheering. But I just want you to understand. <laughs> this thing about bonding and this thing about sex, you got to get this thing straight. So the next time, because people, y'all, you, you realize all y'all secondhand, right? You somebody's leftover trash from a relationship. <laughs> y'all just leftover trash from somebody else's relationship. Somebody just throwing your ass out just by your family. You just somebody else's trash, and you know. Some of y'all got patched up so good in your relationship, y'all left the person. They could see you off so good, y'all left them. That's just to be working on y'all brothers. I had to do this. I had to, he finally put down the toilet seat. I, I trained him. He, finally, he got your ass together, now you left. So you can't patch up these people for so much. So we just left over people, passing each other around. We in a thrift store of love. <laughs> So we got to get this thing together, you know what I mean? That's why I'm getting on this relationship thing, because I'm the one that sees your children. Most of them masturbate. I'm telling you what goes on. Yeah. One out of four kids are gay. My children. I'm telling you what goes on. I'm the one that sees your children. 13 and 12 year old boys with prostate problems. I'm saying 15 year old girls with fibroid tumors. I'm the one who sees the, the mess y'all make. Yeah. So I'm just talking to y'all because I'm in y'all village. You know what I mean? That's, right. oh, that's a shame, too. <laughs> okay, praise the Lord. Maybe I'll be free one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we got to get this whole thing together and, and understand what's going on with ourselves and understand that we've got to understand nature and Mother Nature so we can approach each other correctly. Do you understand that there's nothing on a man's body built for sex? Sex is not a man's thing. Sex is a woman's thing. The clitoris sustains the orgasm. It can sustain the orgasm for up to two hours. The man thrusting on the woman pushes the uterus back and forth, and then the, the ligaments, with their little stringy muscles that suspend the uterus, it gets pushed back and forth, and after sexual intercourse, the, the muscles rebound, so that can sustain the orgasm for another two hours. The brother, after he ejaculates, he can take a dick to the cemetery. It's all over. If it ain't Jesus, it ain't gonna rise again. So contrary to what you've been thinking, sex is a woman's thing. It's not a man's thing at all. Not in nature. I don't know what you've been talking about. No, 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 no. What's a man thing is his brotherhood, the many hanging That's why a man want to have one man have sex with five women, the other man has sex with 15 women. That gives him status with other men. Mm -hmm. He's not having sex with you because he enjoys sex. He enjoys his status. Mm -hmm. Being a player. A dick smith. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get rank and file within this group. Men teach men how to have sex with women. You gotta knock it to the left. We teach them all in tricks. <laughs> men teach men how all that stuff. They don't learn from women. Men give men importance. Not women. No, I'm telling you how this thing is played. And we exchange gossip. You know, you just around your waist, birch, they'll get in an argument. Then you don't have to buy nothing. You know, all the tricks, you know. All the tricks, you know. We exchange tricks and everything. You think we watching basketball? I'll be damned. <laughs> That's when we're exchanging hot gossip, you know. This is how you do that. This is how you get a, get a young woman. You know, this time, yeah, you gotta make your tongue twirl to the left. You know, all right. And we're exchanging all kinds of stuff. Yeah, that's when we're handing some heavy gossip, yeah. Okay, y'all, y'all not following me. Mm. Did I go too ghetto here? <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. <laughs> so I'm saying it's the brotherhood that's the more important to the men than the women. That's what it is all about. Us. We men make men important, not women. <laughs> that's why we hang with each other on the corner. Have you ever wondered why they always hanging with each other? Because <laughs> it's a chemical thing. 
See, this is nature. It's a chemical thing. Oxytocin, they call it, which is like morphine. Women secrete that when they're pregnant. Nature said, I'm going to make pregnancy enjoyable so you won't mind being pregnant. So your body makes a hormone that's similar to morphine. We call it oxytocin. Then after the lady has the baby, she lost her drug high. Now she depressed, a junkie. <laughs> a nine-month junkie, that's what she does. Because the body's making this hormone called oxytocin to make pregnancy pleasurable. And two women that are friends secrete oxytocin. That's why they say, I, we feel, I feel good around my friends. You got high, you little junkie. <laughs> when two friends are together, their bodies secrete oxytocin. And men secrete endorphins. Even if you exercise, nature said, I'm going to make sure you exercise. It's going to make it feel good to you. So nature secretes endorphins, which is morphine. Have you ever heard of this? Yes. I'm trying to tell you, this is a chemical and a neurological thing that happens when two friends are together. Nature wants you to have friends, so nature makes it feel good to you. That's what happens when two people are in love. They're junk addicts. <laughs> they ain't after the love, they're after the heart. <laughs> it's this hormone thing that's involved in it. So what I'm saying is whoever told you genes are responsible for behavior lied to you. Behavior is a very complex thing involved in neurological response, hormones, how you were raised, what you ate, your family, the economic status, where you live. Behavior is a complex thing. Genes do not create behavior. Genes give you the possibility of behavior, but they do not create behavior. That is physiologically impossible. You got a gene in you right now that makes you act like a damn fool. <laughs> yeah, you go out and do some stupid stuff. You know, you make mistakes, you say the wrong thing, you burp in public, belch, fart, sneeze. You do some stupid stuff. And you know, sometimes you act like a straight-ass, flat-out fool. <laughs> but you got a fool gene in you, too. <laughs> that's right, you got a stupid gene in you and a fool gene in you. That's right, that's why they have racism on pencils. You know I'm telling you the truth. Because you make these mistakes. you got a gene in you that makes you make mistakes. Right. So the next time you go through a red light, police will stop. You say, look, I was born this way. It's my gene. It's my gene. You just abusing me because I'm different. I'm a fool. You just abusing me point me out because I'm different. They're going to write your ass a tick. You know I'm telling you the truth. Mm -hmm. Why is it the only thing you're free to do in America is to be gay? Whoa. I'm telling you the truth. You can just say, look, I was born this way. Why don't you say, I was born to have reparations? That's right. <laughs> in my jeans, in my coat. You know, why can't you say that? <laughs> you're just abusing me because I'm different. Yeah, you pull that one on and see how far that go. Yeah, right. You let these people tell you anything. And you know it. You gotta start using your common sense. You cannot get a straight piece of wood from a crooked tree. That's common sense. You cannot get a straight piece of wood from a crooked tree. Let me tell you about a crooked tree. You call it the hospital. Uh -oh. right. Do you know how that thing is set up? Do you realize it's set up with a board of directors? That's right. Do you understand the board of directors is only concern about stock and making money off the stock investment in the hospital. So they have a medical chief of staff who's only concerned about making money for the stockholders. Then you got these doctors in there. Really? And some of them are concerned, but that's very few. So they want to make some damn money. And That's the right. only way to make some money is to get yourself a good damn fool, stupid doctor who makes complications off of operations. That's right. The more complications, the more operations, the more tests, the more money. That's right. So they get a doctor in there that's totally incompetent. He yeah. has a lot of complications when he operates. They go by what we call a kill rate. How many operations he has and how many patients he kills. We call that the kill rate. You, they hire these people on purpose because of the kill rate they have and the complications they have. They grade them. They know what they're doing. This is all about the Benjamins. Hey.
You follow me? They build the structure to fail, to make right. money. Yeah. So we got the doctors there. We got one that's an incompetent, a, a incompetent person, a white man who's challenged. <laughs> <laughs> he has these complications, makes mistakes on his operations, he misdiagnoses, all these kind of things. You know? So all that's going on, but you can't turn him in. The other, they have a medical community. Right. You see? So when they want to do something, they want to look in your eyes, they send you to the ophthalmologist. They look in your nose, ear, nose, and throat. That's right. So everybody shares in the money. That's right. And we call it the medical community. Oh, yeah. How you participate, the doctor has to participate in the medical community. That's right. I said, well, we have to ensure that the stockholders make some money. So we have to have a foundation. This is where the drugs come from. Legal drugs to the laundry through the hospital. Mm -hmm. They do not count where the contribution comes from the food they send to Africa. You realize you've been sending Africa food since I was a child? Niggas can't be that hungry. <laughs> Foundations are set up so they can laundry money. Yeah. Don't you understand? They can't. They don't have to account for the donations. <coughs> so they spend this money there. Then they say, "Well, we got the money from our foundation, but we need a staff to supervise us." And here's when they go hire these crackazoids. Uh, excuse me, European. <laughs> uh, no, excuse me. Uh, Mutant noise, right? Mutant noise. Okay, excuse me. Uh, melanin challenge. Oh, yeah, melanin challenge. Apes that fell out of the tree. Yeah, monkeys that fell out of the tree that a challenge. No, that's how you say white people in a nice way. Recessive. Some mayonnaise looking people. So, so they hire these people that, and, and pay them $100,000 a year to op operate this stuff. And they give them an expense account, they travel, they get a house, they get all of this. And this is how they get to turn the money into something legal. Mm -hmm. Jobs you don't even see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you know they sell those clothes? The Salvation Army sells the clothes in Africa. In Africa, they call them dead people's clothes. Mm -hmm. They think that people die and they donate the clothes to the Salvation Call it. That's why you see Gucci and all that stuff on Brothers on, and Sisters mm. on, on National Geographic. Mm. They call them dead people's clothes. They sell that stuff. It's an industry. So they're laundering money through the hospital. Drug money. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. And y'all think this whole thing is set up just for your care? <laughs> How can you be so stupid? Then you got, that's just the doctors protecting their own ass. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting down to the nurses. Uh oh. <laughs> Now, some of the nurses are good, some of the nurses are bad, some of the nurses you cover for because you like them, and other ones you just trash. So the whole system is run by gossip and scandal. You follow me? Gossip and scandal. That's how they run this whole thing. So they're going to have some incompetent nurse in charge. You know, it's got to be some white girl, you know what I mean? No, they know how to put a tampon in the right way and stuck it in her ass a few times. <laughs> <laughs> and she's in charge of all of this stuff. Totally incompetent, and she's going to protect other incompetent nurses who are her friends. So the people that know how to do the work get frustrated. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. All the time. So now we got this whole level, echelons of stuff. Now you get into housekeeping. Mm. Housekeeping gets short of staff. Now they can't do the work efficiently. Because people don't show up, you know what I mean? They come up late, some of them drink, some of them high, some of them got a hangover. You know what I mean? They show up for work say, I ain't mopping that floor, damn. They just spit up all over the air. I ain't mopping that. <laughs> so now you got housekeeping protecting themselves. Doing half-ass good jobs. So you got all of this stuff to go through when you walk into that institution. All of that. Plus they stealing things. You understand they steal things. You know, you go in the hospital and a white boy say, my uncle need a kidney. Is a nigger available? <laughs> <laughs> they stealing your kidney, they're stealing your heart, stealing your cornea, whatever. <laughs> you know, all of that's going on. Aside from that, the hospital's so toxic, you're supposed to live at least three football fields from, from the that's radiation. Right. <laughs> the radiation from, you heard of x-rays, mammograms, mm -hmm. nuclear, all the kind of chemicals that come out of the hospital. You're supposed to live three football fields from it because it's so toxic and make you sick. And people go in them. Yeah. I don't understand it, you know? But the thing is, they play the color game. And you don't see the color game. Because you've been into this color game so long. You know, 
Did some of y'all see Antoine Fisher? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you realize every evil ass woman in there was dark skin? Didn't you see the movie? Yeah, right. Wasn't the light-skinned woman the one he wanted to marry? That's Wasn't right. the light-skinned one, one that the one that Denzel was with? That's right. Wasn't the evil women dark-skinned? Yeah. Wasn't the person that had the most worst thing to happen to their life dark-skinned? That's yeah. right. Antoine Fisher? Yeah. Yes. Don't you understand the color game? Yeah. Right in your face, you didn't even see. <laughs> I didn't see the movie. I didn't see it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just saying those people, y'all, a lot of people say, everybody like Denzel, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't the, you know, that. <laughs> I'm just saying, the color game is there. Yeah. And if you think about the movie, you will remember that all of that was, wasn't it? Okay, so we're talking about the fact that the white boy make black aspirin, no, no black people buy it. That ain't gonna work for no headache. Damn, that probably mess up your ass. <laughs> I ain't gonna get no black aspirin. making them pills white. These people are not crazy. You ain't never seen no black pill. Think about it. <laughs> not crazy. You mess up that income. They know you don't like being black. All right. Don't like want, don't want other people to be black. Okay, let me get back to the technical part of my lecture and all. Okay. Um, let us just assume that no one here eats sugar. <laughs> no one here eats white sugar <laughs> or white sugar that's been dyed with caramel, which you call brown sugar, right. turbinated sugar, raw sugar. Raw sugar's been dyed with caramel? Yes. Yeah, 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 look here. <laughs> now, if I were to show you a raw orange, you would expect me to have orange in my hand, right? Yeah. But if I put some orange powder in my hand and say, this is a raw orange, wouldn't you say I was crazy? Yeah. <laughs> this white boy put some brown sugar in your hand, brown, <laughs> and he called it raw sugar. <laughs> ah! <clears throat> Just common sense say, no way, if you said it's raw, then I should see the orange, not orange powder. Right. So what are you talking about, raw sugar? It's not raw. Yeah, yeah. You should have cane in your hand. Yeah, that's right. That's raw it's, it's kind of like common sense. You don't need a textbook to listen to me. Right. Right. All you need is your brain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then again, you got to be able to use the program. And you can't access a black intelligence with a white program. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. So that's, that's then right. we got a problem here. That's right. You know, because you, you, you've been taking white studies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Carter, the Woodson, the miseducation, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Negro. Yeah. Yeah. You've been taking white studies. Now you're trying to access black intelligence. Mm -hmm. It won't happen. Mm -hmm. It just won't happen. It don't happen from the beginning when your mother laid on her back with her legs in stirrups to birth you, which is the old position for raping Greek boys. The Greek mm. homosexual rape position. Mm. What position is that? Laid in your back. They used to tie the boys' legs in stirrups and rape them. Mm. You call it birthing a child, a gynecological examination? Give me a break. So right away you put on the wrong program to access your, you're going in another culture's birthing ritual. Remember, sex is the language of culture. Dancing is the language of culture. If you don't understand the culture, how can you understand Chinese dance? You have to know the culture to understand the dance. You have to know the culture to understand their sex. You have to know the culture to understand their music. You have to know the culture. Because sex is the language of culture. Birthing is a cultural language. It expresses the culture. It has to be consistent with the culture. If you are born, then you should be welcome to the earth by your ancestors. Your grandmother should be there. Should be some people there singing. Somebody making right. a prayer. Hallelujah. This is, this is your culture. That's right. You're born around a bunch of strangers in a cold room with a mask on, touched by rubber gloves, and that's not done in no culture except white people's culture. That's right. Right. Alienate you from yourself. Right. How can you access black intelligence with a white program? Give me a break. Uh, in any case, let's not get upset about these little things. <laughs> I just, I just want to go back to the white sugar that uh, I want you to stop eating and understand the challenges of white sugar because a lot of you are challenged by white sugar. Some of you will admit it, some of you will not admit it. All perfume must smell sweet. Mm -hmm. Right? That's sure. Right. Mm -hmm. If you see a woman, you say, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. If you talk to each other, you say, how you doing, honey? How you doing, sweet? How you doing, sugar? Y'all mm -hmm. don't, don't hear this. <laughs> right? Because all you're thinking about is sugar all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's all 
Oye, señor, ¿va? Ay, no, se ve. Ay, no, chica. Ay, no, 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 I'm not going into that. This, this is a straight out sugar lecture here. The brother's just going to lecture about sugar, okay? I'm not going into a sidebar because I'm allowed to take a drink. So I'm just <laughs> right on this thing here. So we're talking about how do you get attached to sugar? We know that sugar's in everything. Sugar's in, they spray it on the french fries at McDoo Doo. <laughs> no, you know, they spray it on tobacco. Marlboro sprays it on their tobacco. Sugar's on everything. You know that sugar, cough, syrup, aspirin, sugar's in everything. We know that. So this this is a lethal chemical. But we don't see it as a chemical because it's... So we're talking about this sugar addiction. Um, let us say that sugar is a, no, let me show you this, because everybody is not like uh, auditory. Some people learn visual, mm -hmm. so, so I have to use some visuals, then I have to, you know, do the intellectual thing, and some people are physical, so I'm moving all around like a damn clown, right. you know, I'm jumping over here, y'all see me jumping over here and over there, I'm jumping all around, all this stuff, like a damn some people, they like to be physical, and then they can pick up what I'm saying. And some people like the visual, so they can figure out what I'm saying. So I'm trying to mix this thing up so everybody can learn. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yes. yes. That's why when I'm talking and I'm developing a point, I always open my arms, finish the point, and you're not watching. Are you? Because <laughs> <laughs> that way, when you're using the right physical language, you get the illusion that you understand what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm playing the game that preachers taught me. Mm. Rabbit fish fry taught me this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you want to learn how to communicate with some Negroes? Go to church. That's right. <laughs> Don't teach a damn thing. Say nothing and get paid. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, he makes too much money. So he wouldn't come here. two hundred thousand dollars for Jesus coming here. <laughs> Okay. Now what I'm going to do here, is that clear now? Okay, so what I'm saying is, is, is white people, they plug these electrodes to your brain and give you some food to see what's urge your brain is firing off the most nerve impulses, so they know what emotion is attached to what food. Because we eat because of our emotions, not because of intellect. You have never learned anything about vitamin A, calcium, magnesium from McDonald's, or the Burping King, or the Dairy Queer. Y'all know <laughs> They sell emotional. You're addicted to the food because you're emotionally dysfunctional. You're flat out crazy. And they know you're crazy because they made you crazy. That's why they know how to sell this stuff to you. Ready foods are associated with the emotions that help you relieve the feelings of insecurity and it soothes dissatisfaction. That's why people like granny snack foods, granny kind of thing. Then chewy food relieves tension and stress and the need to slow down and unwind. Yeah, that's why you chew it. And you know, the only animal that can chew all day is a cow. A cow has four stomachs. And a cow can chew all day. So why are you chewing? <laughs> why are you chewing? <laughs> That's why people get these strokes. Because of this artery here sitting on top of the heart collapses every time it pumps. And when it's clogged up, it just shuts down. <laughs> That's the problem. That's what them greasy foods will do to you. And you have never in your life heard of a frying pan being found in an African cemetery. Or the pharaohs, anybody. A frying pan is not an African invention. You know, there's certain things you just say, wait a minute, where does this thing come from? Why has I ever seen a statue of black people with their legs crossed? Why are the only people I see with their legs crossed? White people. It started because they were constipated. Turd kicked up in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> they try to relieve the pressure on the ass so they can cross their legs. <laughs> so why are you crossing your legs? 
Are you white? Some of y'all, I don't know what's gonna come. Y'all are the damn room now. <laughs> That's, you know, common sense would tell you. Did everybody finish looking at this picture? Yeah. Okay, I, I don't want to go too fast dealing with some. You know, Retarded folks. Hello. Uh, I'm challenging. No, I'm just teasing you, actually. Because um, I'm just trying to let you know we're in some bad shape here. And somebody's got to wake you up. That's There's right. There's no need to be coming up here it's flipping all these highfalutin words around. Y'all say the brother's heavy. And you, I'm trying to communicate with you emotionally because you emotionally got in this trouble. Yes. And I'm trying to communicate to your spirit. Science is a very difficult, stupid way to talk to somebody. They got all these theories they got. Hit them, mighty conjurer. I got <laughs> That's what I'm saying, which is really whack. That's right. In the African way, we think we had a birthday. Your mother birthed you. You cannot have a birthday. Your mother had a birthday. She birthed you. You cannot. It's your birthday. There's only one medical emergency. The word emergency comes from when a child emerges from the uterus. That's what emergency is. Anything else you have is a crisis, but it can never be emergency. It's, it's just a stupid language here. And we try to make this language live, and we add these other things to it. Sometimes we say words that don't even belong in there. You know, we, sometimes we say, yeah, yeah, you know, it don't even belong in there. <laughs> But it gave a rhythm to what I was saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it didn't belong there, but it gave a rhythm to it. Yeah. Yeah. Try to make this thing move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give us some swing in there. When you're talking really British, you know, hey, what you doing? Know? <laughs> you gotta put some, you know, something in there. No, no, but, but what keeps me on point? Uh, a lot of folks that, you know, study all this African stuff, you know, and Great Pyramids of Egypt, and da 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 da, and da 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 da. All I did was go to Europe and go into the caves where these white people came. I went to Nottingham in England. There's a caves where they come from, boarded up with bricks. I went in there. I looked at the paintings on the wall. I'm having sex with animals. What do you these are military people. That's right. These are military people. And anytime you change the sense it as a military attack. That's right. Yes. And they respond militarily. The people in charge who founded medicine are military doctors, Hippocrates and Kaleem. These are military men. The man in charge of medicine in America is a military and, and military every thieving. That's right. That's military. So you go out to an African Senate school All on Fridays right. or something, right. you know it's a military attack. <laughs> this is a Mr. Sousa, I man. I just fixed some hoes. I understand y'all that do that, you know. Because if y'all weren't picking the cotton, I wouldn't get the plantation, so I wanted to go on. Praise the Lord. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Just to get you a little more aware of it.